July 15, 1971. In a stunning move during the Cold War, President Richard Nixon says he will become the first American leader to visit communist China. To seek the normalization of relations between the two countries and also to exchange views on questions of concern to the two sides. Nixon's trip to China the following year paves the way for full diplomatic ties between Washington and Beijing, ending decades of hostility. Please. 1997. Okay, hold on. How did he get shot, sir? I don't know. He's walking in front of his home. That's Johnny Versace. In Miami Beach, fashion designer Gianni Versace is shot to death outside his home. The suspect, spree killer Andrew Cunanan. Miami Beach, Police Chief Richard Barreto. He's a brazen individual, well-dressed, well-educated. He's not a stupid person. Days later, Cunanan is found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound on a houseboat miles from Versace's murder. 1916. In Seattle, the birth of what becomes the world's largest aircraft maker. As William Boeing founds the company that now bears his name, originally known as Pacific Aero Products. And 1606. Rembrandt, the Dutch painter who's considered one of Europe's greatest, is born in the Netherlands. Today in History, July 15th, Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.